Greetings and salutations, this is you, Joss. And it's time once again to take down Taboo Conspiracy for his Flat Earth Truce series, because they're all Flat Earth Lies, as I will show. Before we get on to that, I have a message for David Vice, otherwise known as Dearth. Pay Wally! He met your challenge. You owe him three Bitcoin. Pay up, you bludger. And now, on with the stupid. The RAN was a naval navigation system that was originally developed during World War II. Hooray, he finally got something right! I guess a broken clock is right twice a day at least. And was allegedly used until the 1990s. In short, it worked by two radio towers on the coast that would transmit radio waves across the ocean. Using the Loran system, a boat then could use the difference in the timing of the radio signals to calculate the vessel's location. Yes, all pretty obvious and factually accurate. That makes me suspicious. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I know where he's going to go. Please don't go there, Taboo. You're not that stupid, surely. These two Loran stations, Sisconset and Bodie Island, for example, were 482 miles apart. and could be over a thousand miles away from the vessel. Uh, I think he is going there. God, I hope not. Using the distance between the Sisconset and Bodie Island stations as an example, the Sisconset station was 625 feet tall, with an added elevation of approximately 10 feet. At that height and distance, according to the dimensions of the alleged globe, that would make a target hidden height of 135,000 feet, or 25.4 miles. Oh, yes, he's going there, the twit. That means that the Bodie Island Tower would have to be 14,000 feet higher than this weather balloon to have a line of sight with the Sisconsa station. What? That, that, why do you think it needs a line of sight? Surely if you did enough research to find out that Loran actually existed, you did enough research to figure out how it actually worked. Unbelievable! But the Bodie Island station was only maybe 150 feet tall, and these signals reached vessels over a thousand miles away. So? That was the point of them! Furthermore, look at the angle of the tower. The radio waves would be pointed towards space under the globe. That confirms that he's gone the full stupid. He thinks he's got the proof that debunks the globe! Without having any idea how radio signals work over long range. More on that later. There was no Earth curvature shadow blocking any signal from the Loran system. And nor would we expect there to be. As anyone who knows what they're talking about, i.e. not taboo conspiracy, would be able to tell you. The official explanation is that the radio waves traveling at the speed of light mysteriously hugged the surface of the Earth and wrapped around the curvature, inexplicably jumping bulges of water and Earth dozens of miles tall. Mysteriously? Inexplicably? Do you really think that's the official explanation? I mean, if it's an official explanation, it's hardly inexplicably, isn't it? Just because you don't understand how it works, it doesn't make it wrong. Defying logic and reason, Globe claims always include some extraordinary, unproven tell why the Earth curvature simply disappears without a trace. Defying logic and reason? You haven't used either of those. And as for Globe claims, containing some unproven tell for how Globe curvature suddenly disappears, that can only be considered projection on the part of a flat earther. For a start, what you're calling a Globe claim isn't. It's your straw man of it. And you're trying to take that down and you're not doing a very good job. You haven't presented any evidence. Simply stated, the Loran system is another indication that the Earth is indeed flat. Man, if you think there's any truth to what you just said, you must really think your followers are complete idiots. Time to explain what the so-called globe claims actually are. Nothing like what Taboo presented. He is deceiving by omission. And no, I don't believe that he simply misunderstands. He went out of his way to deceive in this one. Built a straw man, provided no evidence, and then came to the conclusion that the Earth is flat somehow. The work of a charlatan. Don't listen to guys like this. In contrast, I can present stuff that you can easily verify yourself. In case you don't know how to research for yourself, here's a demonstration on Google. I found it in two seconds flat. Radio waves transmitted by antennas in certain directions are bent or even reflected back to the Earth by the ionosphere. 
They may bounce off Earth and be reflected by the ionosphere repeatedly, making radio transmission around the globe possible. Now I'll leave you to read the rest of this, and I'll put a link to this in the description, but basically it's a property of nature that certain frequencies will bounce off the components of the atmosphere at the ionosphere level. If this didn't exist, it would go off into space, and we wouldn't be able to communicate long distance except via cable. But it's there, and you can test it yourself if you have radio transmitter. Literally billions of people have done it. Once again, taboos, flat earth truths, have been demonstrated to be nothing but flat earth lies. How he drew the conclusion that the earth was flat from this information is beyond me. He shows no reasoning or logic whatsoever. All he shows is persuasion. He's trying to persuade you to his point of view because it gets views on his videos and he can sell you t-shirts. Don't be fooled by this charlatan. And if you want to watch my other taboo busting videos in this series, there's a link to the playlist in the corner right now. And it will also be in the description. I want to take this opportunity to wish all my viewers a happy 2022. The Corgi's warming up. So if you like this video, click the like button. It really helps me out. As does leaving a comment. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get notified of future videos that I put out. And if you really like what I do, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. For $3.99 Australian a month, that means you're a part of the huge ass movement. So there's nothing left to do but cue the corgi. You're despicable.